Hello and welcome back to Fate's Guide to Making Maps in Team Fortress 2 using Hammer. In Chapter 3 we're going to talk about how to make respawn rooms, so we'll select the brush tool. And I'm going to draw it on the XY axis and draw a wall up like this. And then make sure to stretch it up. I'm going to make it about that tall and hit enter to create the wall. And then on the XY grid, hit escape so that it's selected like that. Hold down shift, drag it over, press Control M to rotate. Z axis 90 degrees. Stretch it up like this. We're going to stretch it over, leave a little space for people to get out. Now, we're going to draw a roof on it. And then we want to stretch it on this grid, on the XY grid, to cover the entire space. Hit enter, and there we go. Escape so nothing selected. We go outside of here. Made the respawn room. So now we're gonna need to define the respawn room itself. So we're gonna draw a cube that encompasses the entire space. Stretch this down there. And hit enter. Now we're gonna need to change the texture. Select here to change the texture. Browse and under filter type in tools. Forward slash tools. Trigger. Select that and hit apply. Now select it again and press control T. And under class type FUNC for function underscore respawn room and hit enter and perhaps enter again to make sure it's selected like this. We're going to do the red team first, so under name red spawn one team red apply. And we're done. Now we need to create where the players are going to spawn. So go in here. Select this entity tool here, place it. Now we want to make sure that he's not actually on the floor, so I'm gonna you might have to hit escape to get it selected in there and drag it up so he's not actually touching the floor. And I also want to rotate him, control M, Z axis ninety degrees, he's facing that way. Now I'm also going to right click on him. You can't do it in the three D view, but right click on him on one of the grids properties. Team spawn, which team? red team. Apply. Now all we gotta do is hold on shift and drag it over One, two, three times and we have four of them so hold down control and select all four and shift and drag them. Now we have eight and twelve. We're gonna make twelve for now. You can make however many you want. So the red team is done. So now what we're gonna do is select make escape so nothing selected. Select this wall. Hold down control to select multiple things in the ceiling. Now we're going to hold down shift and drag this over. Now make sure when you're copying if you have to while you're dragging zoom up to get to where you're going or out then it'll actually move it instead of copying it. So you'll have to, it's better to just drag it near it and make the copy and then drag that wherever you need it to go. So we're going to take it over here control M. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees on the z-axis. We're going to fit it up here in the grid like this and there we go. Now we're going to create the respawn room for this spot. So hold down brush entity, draw from here to here. Make sure it, it covers the entire room. Hit enter. Now since our texture is already triggered, we're good to go on that. So that's already applied, so we'll hit escape, select it again, and press control T. Now we're going to make this FUNC function under class and then respawn room. And hit enter again. Team. Name is blue spawn one. And under team set blue. And that's done. We're gonna go in here, hit escape so nothing selected. Entity. Put one in. Hit escape so he's selectable like this. Drag him up one grid. And control M. Now, if I rotate him 90 degrees, he's going to go to the left, like this, so now I'm going to rotate him 180 to face the other way. You can do whatever suits, whatever your needs. So we got him selected. Right click, properties, team spawn, blue, apply, close here. Hold on shift, drag him over, hold on shift, drag it over again, and again. And Hold down control to select multiple units. 
and hold on shift drag and there we go we are done and the next tutorial we'll talk about more advanced things like the the health ammo cabinet and how to put health and ammo boxes out and more things to come